Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out in Men's Health, December 3rd, 2018. You know, one thing that I was really shocked about when I read through this article the first time is I didn't realize the coroner's office were allowed to only put one cause of death on the death certificate. So if somebody, let's say, has cancer, but they died of a drug overdose, they have to decide what they put on there. Being that is the case, there are many, and I know I did videos on this even on my old channel, there are many of these people dying of drug overdoses and they're putting something else on the death certificate. If you remember, they did that with Carrie Fisher. She actually died from a drug overdose, but they put something entirely different, not related to drugs on her death certificate by the request of the family. And see, that's another thing. If the family's request that drugs don't go on that death certificate, they comply and go along with it. I bet you they wouldn't do that for us. I bet if our relatives had heart disease and they were taking opioids, they uh, if you ask, please don't put that down on the death certificate, I bet you every dime in my wallet they would put it down if we were making that request. So what they ultimately do is what goes on there. So ladies and gentlemen, there could be millions of people that died of a drug overdose, but they put something else on the death certificate. And I also believe they do it for the insurance money too. It, it looks better if it was a natural disease. Really all these diseases are unnatural, but these diseases, because it's easy for the family to then collect on the insurance money. You know, that's why they're going to that um, accidental death instead of putting down suicide. If they, you know, if they put down suicide, then they can't collect on that insurance money. That's why you're hearing them over and over talking about accidental death. And that's just another way of getting around everything and still collecting on the insurance money if there's life insurance on these people. So that's the new thing that they put down, accidental death. Um, so let's get into this article. Opioids are killing American men, but they're not the leading cause of death. So this is December 3rd, 2018. Sometime during the night, Roger, a 58 year old man, died on the sofa. When his wife went to bed, he was still watching television. She heard him snoring and didn't want to disturb him. She figured he would eventually join her, but in the morning, the TV was still on and he was still there. She reached down to wake him. He was stiff and cold. Because Roger had died unexpectedly in his home, he came to me in the county coroner's morgue. The decedent was clinically obese with a history of sleep apnea and had chronic neck pain, which led him to his nightly habit of taking oxycodone before bed. On autopsy, I found significant heart degree, uh, disease, um, including narrowing of two major blood vessels Okay. So he probably had, uh, you know what they have when they have heart disease, that plaque buildup. Um, his battered black lungs had pulmonary anthracosis from years of smoking and foam from pulmonary edema. The latter, a common finding in both drug overdoses and chronic heart disease deaths. So what exactly had killed him? Cases like this usually end up being certified as opioid deaths because he had developed a chemical 
tolerance to his prescription medication and was known to be overutilizing them. And because of the levels of drugs we measured in his postmortem blood was high enough to be fatal, but it would be too simple to though uh, write off Roger's death as an accidental. Um, so, you know, what they're saying is technically he can just put heart disease down there instead of making him a victim of the drug plague that's going on in the country. Okay, so he's saying, you know, he can put that down on the death uh, certificate uh, and placing the blame on an underlying disease that also helped kill him. Obesity and obstructive sleep apnea made Roger more susceptible to respiratory depressant effects of his opioid drugs. His heart disease left him with low blood oxygen levels, which can cause a fatal cardiac arrhythmia. One cause of death per customer, that's the rule with death certificates. Really? Doesn't that seem just a little stupid? Okay, well, I guess I don't make the rules, right? Um, I certify many, many overdose cases these days. It is rare that their victims have no underlying natural disease. Most people arrive on my autopsy table with some perfect storm of combined patholog pathological conditions. I would say the majority of them are. I mean, I'm just saying, in many cases, these folks ended up on opioids because their doctors were over prescribing to them for a condition. But you know what? There were some that didn't even need opioids, but the doctors were writing the scripts anyway because, you know, they get money for every script they write. So they didn't care who they gave this stuff to. And they were giving people five and 600 pills at once. The CDC recently issued a report showing that our national life expectancy is dropping for the first time in a century. Most media analysis has blamed this shocking finding on the increase in mortality rates from both opioid overdose and suicide. Death rates from heart disease and cancer continue their slow and steady decline as a result of successful medical intervention and improvement in health behaviors, but they are still the two leading causes of death in the United States, and they still outpace overdoses and suicide deaths by more than three to one. Diet, exercise, and regular visits to your doctor for routine cancer screenings are the combination you can use to increase your own personal life expectancy. Do the things that you can to protect your health and you might avoid an untimely visit to your neighborhood forensic pathologist. True. But I just don't understand the reason for just one thing is allowed on a death certificate and that's it. When the person might have had multiple um, conditions that could have been life threatening. But go figure. <sighs> I guess those are the things the high IQ people decided to do. So there you go. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.